Good evening, sisters. Welcome to Sisters Bible Study Class. Tonight is part two of our class entitled, Faith. Do you have enough faith? The class is all about how important faith is in your walk as a saint of the Most High. Faith is so important. Faith is right up there with belief and hope. Without faith, we have no culture because we never saw Yah. We never saw Yahshua. We never saw the prophets or all the holy men of our tribes and nation. So we have to believe what has been written. We have to believe that Yah inspired through his spirit the prophets and commanded them to write what they heard the spirit speak to them so that we thousands of years later would have this as a record from the very creation to the very end of time we have what Yah has said he will do do you have faith do you believe do you hope in the promises that has been given us let's go ahead and get started with tonight's class remember last time in our part one of this class of faith, we saw how important faith was when it comes to all of the weapons and the armory of Yah. Faith is the shield that keeps us free from the fiery darts of the enemy. That's how important faith is. Never forget that. And Yahshua said that if we had faith like the grain of a tiny mustard seed, we would be able to move mountains. Let's never forget how important and how strong faith is. And tonight we're going to see that faith is a fruit of the Spirit. In other words, the Spirit gives us faith. And then it increases as we continue to grow in the Word and as we continue to trust in Yah and believe in Yah and hope in Yah. So let's get started with tonight's class. First Peter chapter one, verse one through twenty-five. All right, First Peter chapter one, verse one. Is that what I said? Um, yes, <laughs> one through twenty-five. Peter, an apostle of Yahshua the Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of Elohim, Yah, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience, and sprinkling of the blood of Yahshua the Mashiach. Grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the Elohim and Father of our Yahshua the Mashiach, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again, unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahshua the Mashiach from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fades not away, reserved in heaven for you. Five, who are kept by the power of Elohim through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. So, in verse 4 it says, To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fades not away, reserved in heaven for you. What? Your inheritance. Your incorruptible inheritance, right? Who are kept by the power of Elohim through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. What? Salvation is going to be revealed in the last time. But our faith and our inheritance that is incorruptible and undefiled is reserved in heaven, right? Mm -hmm. And kept by the power of Yah in heaven through our faith that our end will be salvation. That's basically what this is saying. And that salvation is going to be revealed in the last days. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. Wherein you greatly rejoice. Through, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations. 
In other words, this life isn't easy, hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So even though we have that rejoicing, we have that hope, that faith, we know what the end will be, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. We're going to go through our temptations, our trials that try our faith and our punishments, right? Because we're the children of Yah. Verse 7. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than that of gold, perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory when at the appearing of Yahshua the Mashiach. Mm -hmm. Read this again. That the trial of your faith, or the testing of your faith, right? Mm -hmm. Being much more precious than of gold that perishes, mm -hmm. though it be tried with fire, mm -hmm. might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the coming of Christ. Praise That's God. when we receive our reward, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Praise y'all. Verse 8. Listen, y'all. Whom, whom having not seen, you love. Who? The Mashiach, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Which of us have seen the Mashiach? Right. But having not seen, we love him, don't we? Indeed. We believe that he is. Mm -hmm. In whom, though now you see him not, yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Mm -hmm. Receiving the end of your faith, even what? The salvation of our bodies, of our souls. Sure. That's the end of our faith. That's what we're looking forward to. Mm -hmm. The faith is the interim piece of believing and hoping that Yah's word is true. We will receive the end of our faith at the coming of Yahshua when he comes to establish this earth again in peace and joy and love and righteousness. Indeed, indeed. And like in verse 7 it says, even though it says, though it may our faith be tried with fire. Mm -hmm. So you have all this trouble in the flesh now, mm -hmm. right? But even then, how many of us can say that this trouble lasts always? We can't say that. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing. Every day, Yah shows the, the, the sun and the moon and mm -hmm. the stars and the rainbows and the rain. He gives us the, our needs. Mm -hmm. He gives us everything we need. And yeah, things may not be easy, but they're not terrible either. Sure. So even in the trial of our faith, Yah still shows his blessings upon us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse 10. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what or what manner of time the spirit of the Mashiach, which was in them, did signify, when it testified beforehand the sufferings of the Mashiach, and the glory that should follow. So the spirit of the Mashiach is nothing more than the spirit of Yah. The Holy Spirit, the word of Yah that's been with all the prophets. That's why he said, say, speak to the people, thus saith Yah. Mm -hmm. They spoke the word according to the spirit. What the spirit gave them utterance, that's what they spoke. Right? Mm -hmm. Verse 12. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto the prophets, but unto us. They did minister the things which are now reported unto you by the prophets that have preached the good news unto you with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven, which things the angels even desire to look unto. Hmm. Wherefore, gird up your loins of your mind, be sober, not the loins of your flesh, the loins of your mind, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Be sober. And hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahshua the Mashiach, at the return of the, the Mashiach, Yahshua mm -hmm. the Mashiach, because it said what? All eyes shall see him, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 14. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance, when we didn't know Yah, didn't believe Yah, because we didn't know him, right? Mm -hmm. So, but as obedient children, once we turned around and took that baptism and began in newness, walking in the commandments and newness of life, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
uh, verse 14 again. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance, but as Yah, which have called you, is holy, so be you holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be you holy, for I am holy. Mm -hmm. Where is that written at? In the law. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 44. Verse 17. And if you call on Yah, who without respect of persons judges according to every man's what? Work. Not just faith, mm -hmm. but work also, right? Yes. Because you're going to be judged by your words and by your work, by your deeds. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Okay. Verse 17 again. And if you call on Yah, who without respect of persons judges according to every man's work past the time of your sojourning here on this earth, in this life right now, in mm -hmm. what? In fear. In the fear of doing what Yah says do. And if you don't, you should be trembling. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure we've all knew, known what that felt like. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay. Verse 18. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of the Mashiach, mm -hmm. as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, mm -hmm. or goat for that matter. Verse 20. Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. Now, this is this is tricky because a lot of people that you run into that really has a, a handle on the book of Enoch and the book of Jubilees still don't understand the Father and the Son and Yahshua the Mashiach, the Son of David. They still don't understand that and the Holy Spirit, I should say. They don't understand that dynamic. So when they they see that Yahshua was foreordained, they think Yahshua was, is the Elohim in heaven. Mm -hmm. That's their problem. Mm -hmm. That is the problem. That is the mystery. No. And that's why it says what? It talks about him being made the son at the resurrection of the dead. When he was, when he was baptized, it was not said he was the son until the spirit, the son came and dwelt in his body. Then, he, then Yah said, this is my beloved son. That's when he sent his son. So when he when Yahshua died and was resurrected three days later, that's when he, the son of David, became the son of Yah. Right? Not before. Mm -hmm. Still a mystery to a lot of brothers and sisters that have lots of knowledge in Enoch. And whereas Enoch and Jubilee states clearly that Yahshua was named, he was foreordained, he was named before everything. But he wasn't there before everything. Mm -hmm. He was named. His name was given. Mm -hmm. He was foreordained to be that son, mm -hmm. right? But that doesn't mean he was the son living in heaven at that time with the father. Persia. That's the key. Messiah was, was to be known from um, Isaiah. He'd be called Emmanuel. God is with us. Elohim with us, mm -hmm. right. Well, when was he called that? After, Not at his birth. After his baptism. Exactly. When the spirit Elohim entered into was him. truly mm -hmm. with us yes. at his baptism. Persia. Not at his birth. Mm -hmm. He was called the son of David. Yes. Born in the city of the of, of David, yes. right? Yes. That's what he was called at birth. From a natural man. Praise Yah. And who gave us that information? The angel himself to his mother Mary. Mm -hmm. Yep. So praise Yah. Praise Yah. He said he's gonna be the son of David. He's gonna sit on David's throne, reigning in the twelve tribes of Israel. And he's going to make David's son, Yah's son. Yah is going to make David's son, his son. Mm -hmm. He's going to. He shall be. Mm -hmm. Not that he was mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. He, uh, in Jubilees, and I reread it a lot of times over the past couple of weeks, but mm -hmm. it says he was named in heaven. Mm -hmm. Not that he was in heaven at that time. Right, so. right, right. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. Verse 21. Who by him do believe in Elohim, that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, that your what faith and hope might be in who? Yahshua? And Yah? No, might be in Yah. Mm -hmm. 
But then Yah Elohim, not in Yahshua. Yahshua even told us, believe in the Father. The mm -hmm. Father sent me. Deal with the Father. Do what the Father said for you to do. Mm -hmm. Right? I've come to show you that it's possible. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. All right. So that our faith and hope in understanding what he did with the Mashiach should be in Yah. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. Although we have not known the Mashiach, we haven't seen him, we believe, we have faith that he did He did it according to what Yah said he would do and that he is our Redeemer and our Savior. But our faith and hope and love is in Yah. Verse 22. Seeing you have purified your souls in obeying Yah's truth through the Holy Spirit, Unto what unfeigned love of the brethren. See that you love one another with a pure heart fervently. How can we say that we love Yah if we don't love our brothers and sisters? No way we can say that, can we? Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. But we can show our love of Yah through our works and through the love we show for one another. Praise Yah. Verse 23. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of Yah, which lives and abides forever. For all flesh is as grass, mm -hmm. and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. Now, why do you think he mentions grass and flowers here? Where does the grass and the flowers come from? Clay, the earth. The earth, ground. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly where flesh comes from, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's all he's saying here. We're just from whatever that earth brought forth, that's all we are. That's all we are. Mm -hmm. It goes right back to the dust and the clay that we were made of. So not only did he make, did he make man out of the dust and the dirt and, and the clay, but the flowers, the trees, the grass, everything that springs from that dirt is from the dirt. It's mm -hmm. from the earth, mm -hmm. just like we are. Mm -hmm. Terrestrial. Terrestrial, exactly. But, verse 25, the word of Yah endures forever. It will never fade away because it's not from the earth. And this is the word which by this good news is preached unto you. All right, so we finished that, right? First Peter chapter 1, verse 1 through 25. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go now to Hebrews chapter 10. And we're going to pick up verses 35 through 39. And then we're going to go back to the beginning a little bit of chapter 10 and read verses 19 through 31. So let me repeat that. Hebrews 10, 35 through 39, mm -hmm. then 19 through 31. Hebrews 10, 35, yes, 35, cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. It made me think about when you sent that video of the two years they were blasting us about being the yes, unvaccinated mm -hmm. against those fiery mm -hmm. darts. Yep. Our faith kept us Praise strong. Up. Praise God. Yes. Yeah. And not bowing to that kind of pressure and control. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Well, that was nothing but the most high. Absolutely. And, you know, I had really forgotten about that kind of pressure and that kind of those control tactics that mm -hmm. they use. Yeah. And use the media very wisely and very well. Yeah. yeah. That, that the yeah. evil ones did. To try yeah. to force us into that mess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How de evil that they were being yeah. to people. For yes. no reason. I mean, indeed. just across the board. Hard. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So that was a trial of our faith. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Truly, it was a trial of our faith. Okay, so let's pick up 35 again. 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, mm -hmm. which hath great recompense of reward. Praise Yah. For yeah. ye have need of patience, that mm -hmm. after you have done the will of Elohim, ye might receive the promise. Amen. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Amen. Now 
the just shall live by faith. Hmm. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Mm -hmm. How about that? Mm -hmm. Yes. The just must live by faith. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's that's confidence in the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not in what man is saying to try to force you into doing something that against the will of Yah mm -hmm. and the word of Yah. Yes. That's exactly what's going to happen in the future when they force man to take the name, number, and mark of the beast, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. So our faith has got to be become even stronger to if it be Yah's will that we are not in the protected space of the wilderness during that time, time frame. I pray that we will be. But if we're not, we got to be prepared through our faith to face death versus dealing with that name, number, and mark. Yeah. That's how important faith is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 39. But we are not of them who draw back unto prediction. Praise God. But of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Salvation. Isn't that what, what it's talking about? The saving of our soul, our mm -hmm. body, salvation. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we don't we can't look back and go back into the world. We gotta keep moving forward, having faith that Yah's word is true, no matter what these people are saying or doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 19. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of you, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us through the veil that is to say his flesh. Mm -hmm. And having an high priest over the house of Yah. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having what? assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Praise God. But it said what? Let us draw near with a true heart in what? Full Assurance mm -hmm. of faith. Mm -hmm. Full assurance of faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is strong, sisters. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Having our hearts sprinkled or mm -hmm. washed, right? From an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. And also, um, it's just amazing, even like verse uh, 19 and 20, where it speaks about the boldness. This is, um, brethren, having the boldness to enter into the holiest, that being past the veil, you know, during that one time of the year, day of atonement, during that time. Right. And this says, but, but not by that veil, but by the blood of the Messiah. And then verse right. 20 says, by the new and living way which he created, um, which mm -hmm. he has concentrated, concentrated for us through the veil. That is to right. say, through his, his flesh. flesh. Right. Praise, Praise, God. Praise God. Because remember, this is talking about him being what? The high, high priest, priest. Exactly. right? Yes. So mm -hmm. he goes beyond the veil in the temple in heaven itself for us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. To offer his blood. Whereas the priest did that every year. Yes. Mm -hmm. On earth. Mm -hmm. right. Yeshua only had to do that one time. Mm -hmm. Wow! At his at his resurrection, he went into the temple, not made with hands, but into the true temple mm -hmm. in heaven itself for us. Mm -hmm. One time with his own blood, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he was the priest and the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. How about that? Yeah, hey. that's deep. That's deep. Yeah, mm -hmm. praise God. So it is a new and living way, right? Mm -hmm. Because even though at that time when this was written. We had priests doing that same yearly service of going behind the veil, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Offering sacrifices that could never take away sin right. from the people. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Uh oh, wait. Faith is a profession? Hmm. Right. You got to be a professional when it comes to your faith, right? Mm -hmm. 
What does the word professional mean? You know your job, inwards, upwards, backwards, forwards. You've got that thing together. You are a pro. Isn't that what that means? Yeah. That word, profession? Yeah. yeah. You know it. Mm-hmm. That's what faith has to be, sisters. That's how serious faith is. That's how serious it is. Mm -hmm. Praise you Read that again, verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Without mm -hmm. wavering. For he is faithful that promise. From the day he uttered the words, mm -hmm. he has not once relented on that, on his word. Mm -hmm. His word is true. His word will never fade away. Unlike flesh that came from the earth, God's word is forever. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 24. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good words. Because hmm. isn't that what the Father has always been for us? Mm -hmm. As long as we've been obedient, he's, he, Yah is love. Mm -hmm. Yah is love. And, and like I said in the beginning, all of this earth, this creation, and even the, the bad things that's happening, this is still beautiful. His creation is still beautiful. And it's still giving forth exactly what he told it from the creation to give forth. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Bill so look out. Just look out. The grass is green. The birds are, are, are mm -hmm. chirping away, you know. The trees flourish. The rivers still flow. I mean, what can I say? Yah is fair? Praise Yah. All right. uh, 24 okay. and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works amen 25 not forsaken the assembling of ourselves together mm -hmm. as the manner of some is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but exhorting one another and so much the more mm -hmm. as ye see the day approaching Praise God. So keeping us all in check, reminding ourselves that we must come together, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. We must come together. <coughs> Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Why? Mm -hmm. uh, 26. For if we sin willfully, willfully, after that we, we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. Mm -hmm. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. Hmm. He that despised Moshe's law died without mercy unto two or three witnesses. Mm -hmm. Of how much uh, sorrow punishment suppose ye shall he be thought worthy who have trodden under foot the son of Elohim mm -hmm. and counted the blood of the covenant where he was sanctified mm -hmm. an unholy thing and have done despite unto the spirit of grace wow so right they are what they have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith Yahshua was sanctified an unholy thing yeah. and have yeah. done despite unto the spirit of grace. Hmm. Hmm. Verse 30 says, For we know him that have said vengeance belongeth hmm. unto me. Mm -hmm. I will recompense saith Yah. Hmm. And again uh, Yah shall judge his people. Yep. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living Elohim. Yes, indeed. Yeah, praise yeah. God. Yes, yeah. praise yes it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sisters. So clearly, Yah, we must believe that Yah is in order to have faith in Him. That's and right. everything that He has done from the beginning until now that he is going to ensure that if he said it in his word, that he is going to fulfill it. That's what our belief must be. That's where our faith comes in at, right? Mm 